Croft Bake Off? Get on with it! So you should come out now as the host. Great. Welcome everybody to the great Improv Bake Show, where we blend the marriage of improvisation and baking to get a big weird fuck baby. This is our judges Sally and Michelle, and welcome all bakers tonight. We would like an inspiration of a beautiful dessert of pastry. Anything that comes to mind, please. Cherry pie! I heard something cherry pie and tiramisu. Let's do tiramisu. But here at the Great Improv Bake Off, we like a twist! So can we get special ingredients? Anchovies! Alright, so this is the Great Improv Bake Show, and we're going to start with tiramisu with a special ingredient of anchovies. Judges, please. Do you have any recommendations on how our lovely bakers can start with this recipe? I don't know if it's because I'm at the height of my thermal cycle or because we're cooking a tiramisu, but I will tell you it's all about the layers. Make sure they're decadent and rich. I'm really excited. Like an onion. My grandmother actually used to make a tiramisu with anchovies as well. It was something that we ate every night of my childhood, and I just can't wait to see these wonderful chefs prepare us their rendition. But indeed, all right, bakers, get to your ovens. Interesting technique. Is this, did you learn this from home or something? Well, I've actually been practicing my tiramisu recipe for decades. And I'm really excited to try this again. I actually haven't made a tiramisu in quite a bit of time, so this is taking me back to my adolescence. It's interesting that you're using a rolling pin. You know you don't need that at all. I have my own special techniques. <laughs> Lovely, thank you. So, <clears throat> I'm thinking that like maybe we could put in some miso from a miso soup in my tiramisu miso soup style of food. And I think this will be a transformative experience for everyone. Interesting. Uh, is, are the spit and nose smokes part of it? I see there's quite a bit of drippage. I put a lot of myself into my work. That is actually a beautiful poetic. Thanks. Thank you. Please. Oh, there's art here. You've done this before. Oh, you thanks, so? Ed? I don't, but yeah. please. I've never really thanked before, but I'm just having fun, you know? I'm just having fun. I mean, I want you to really show your exuberance through. Yeah, you know, I'm just having, trying to have like the sum of my life, and I thought, like, where better, what better place to do that than on this villa? Beautiful, and that's the time is up! Now, judges, please! We're going to have a blind test, the judges don't know whose tiramisu is who. Please continue. Judges, you have tasted all three of the blind tiramisu with anchovies. Have you selected the winner of the three? <laughs> we have decided that the winner of this technical challenge is Baker number two. Oh my god, Baker number two! Yeah! 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 yeah. Thanks everyone! Hope you like. Nevada. 
Yeah, um, I was doing summer abroad in uh, Reno, Nevada, and I decided <laughs> to come back for the summer um, and find a chance at love. Why not? What better place to do it than here on this villa? <laughs> <laughs> when Reno was younger, it was very rare that he was able to have a square meal every day, and that's where his inspiration is drawn from. Yeah, you know, like, I just ordered a lot of Chinese takeout, and um, to be quite honest, I use the microwave a lot. Um, so that's where the inspiration comes from. Everything is baked inside the microwave. I press the 30 second button like 15 times. <laughs> Maurice comes from a family of 12 and everyone is counting on his winning this to be able to afford the rent this month. Yeah, this is like my fourth uh, reality show this month. Um, I'm really hoping that it comes together for my family so I can win that million pound check. Uh, to be quite honest, I've been eliminated first on every single other one. <laughs> so, fingers crossed. Hey, yeah man, honestly, like, I'm just a big fan of baking, whether it's regarding, like, cakes or, like, you know, the other kind of baking. <laughs> I'm made for TV, I've been told. I've got exuberant personality. I'm quite convivial to the eye and the, and the rest of the senses. Since Rocco lives by himself, he owns about 20 parrots, so he cooks mini cakes for all of them. Yeah, after all my eight roommates kind of abandoned me for reasons unknown, I think, honestly, I'm better off this way. <laughs> I'm probably going to make a shit ton of new friends through this experience, and, you know, my likability will get me places, I think. <laughs> Rocco hopes to win this big competition so that he can take the prize money and buy himself a fur sanctuary. My favorite bird is the penguin. <laughs> Easily. There's only one species of them, as far as I'm aware, and it's so easy to just say penguin, and people just know what you're talking about, you know? <laughs> Carlita just flew in from Worcestershire. Challenge, our star challenge. But we will need one more suggestion, please. Think of something extravagant, something marvelous, something you've never seen before. Or if you've seen it before and you want to see it again, this is your chance. Can we get a suggestion of a dessert again, please? Oh, 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 giant cake. Oh, giant pie. Oh, caviar wedding cake. Oh, caviar wedding cake is what I mixed up together in my head. So, we will be doing a caviar wedding cake. Bakers, get to your ovens. So, like, do you put the cat in the veal first to make the cat veal, what is this again? Uh, a cat veal wedding cake. A cat veal you wedding cake. You are the chef, my good man. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Dude, I watched the show. Like, I know you guys. You're like my brothers. So, uh, <laughs> so tell us, how many layers do you plan on putting on this cake and making sure it doesn't tip over? You know, <laughs> I like to just kind of like feel it out. I think it's going to be like a beautiful onion, you know, blooming with just lots of layers. Just Beautiful, thank you. Yeah, Thanks, man. Nice. Mm. <laughs> now, Carlito, we understand that your parents had a very rough marriage back in the 1700s. How has that influenced your cooking? Well, uh, this wedding cake is actually inspired. 
inspired by my first marriage of ten. Mm. You were ten? No, I've had ten marriages. <laughs> this cake is inspired by my very first one. Because the caviar reminds me of what a dead fish he was whenever we made love. <laughs> Yeah, so I, um, I've been drinking a lot of cooking wine. Um, once again, no idea what I'm doing here, but I just grabbed some zebra cakes, uh, smashed them all together on a plate, uh, poured some caviar on top, and stuck it in the microwave. And that's where I'm at so far. Um, question. How did you get here? Um, a boss. <laughs> Maurice, has anyone told you that you're a courageous soul and you're the most brave man I've ever seen? You want to stop? <laughs> what are you trying to say? Because we can go back. I'd never be allowed right now. We'll go to the freezer and we'll fuck. Judges, <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Now, as our bakers have completed your star challenge, please bring them up one at a time. Baker number one. <laughs> Check it out, y'all. Oh, my God. 